261, noes 293. That vote signals a historic change of tone for the California GOP decades in the making. For the first time, the party officially recognized a Republican gay rights group. It's totally satisfaction to see that 75% of the body, 75% overwhelmingly affirmed our place in the party. It's a significant victory for gay rights in a party that's been resistant to making that change. KCRA3's Mike Lurie joins us now with what it means politically, especially with a major election in 2016. Well, that's right, Brian. The key word here is inclusion, and with nearly 75% of the delegates voting today to embrace a gay rights group, it means the Republicans are now starting to focus more on winning elections. It's a great day. It's history in the making. History in the making. For the first time ever, the Log Cabin Club, a gay rights group, is now an official part of California's Republican Party. Freedom, hope, and opportunity. We start that road today by voting yes on chartering the Log Cabin Club. Thank you. But there is also big pushback today from some delegates. The scriptures supply man with moral absolutes, which reflect the nature of God's design for man and provide the standard by which he must live. I, I think the California Republican Party could do better than this. I don't think we need any additional divisiveness. But a majority of Republicans, including some religious conservatives, champion the cause of gay rights. I also have a deep and abiding faith in my Savior, Jesus Christ. I also believe that it is time for the log cabin, the hardworking log cabin Republicans to be chartered into this organization. The final vote was decisive. The yeas, 861, noes, 293. The motion passes. The vote by a margin of three to one means gay Republicans are now officially welcome in the party. I think the Republican Party has moved away from fighting those ideological battles and is now focused on winning elections. And that rebranding of the Republican Party includes the recruitment of women and minority candidates, including Assemblywoman Ling Ling Chang and also Young Kim, both of whom won seats at the Capitol last November. It shows that we welcome all groups whose stated goal is to elect Republicans. And the log cabin Republicans are inspired by Abraham Lincoln, the Republican president who grew up, of course, in a log cabin and fought for equal rights. The log cabin Republicans say that's what they are fighting for, too. So, Mike, the inclusion thing has been a criticism for a long time. Is this rebranding going to work? Well, remember that Republicans are just 28% of all uh, registered voters in California. And you'll also remember Arnold Schwarzenegger once said that the party was dying at the box office. So the GOP did win enough seats last November to deny Democrats a supermajority in the Senate and the Assembly, but still they have no statewide offices that they can claim as victory. We'll see if people view this as a PR move mm -hmm. or genuinely being embraced by the party. That and may be the key here. And we'll know more, of course, next year for right. 2016. Okay, Mike, thank you. you.